everyone! Today I'm going to do a review on this Klutz Kit Sand Painting. Well, let's get to the video. So today I'm going to do a review on the Sand Painting Studio by Klutz Kit. I really like Klutz Kits, they're really fun, I think they're really nice. So it came with these different background boards, a frame, this piece of paper, some glue, spatula, and a clip, and all these different kinds of sand. It made, it didn't make such a big mess, but still was kind of messy at the end. So it came with these little cutout things and instructions. So I read through the instructions, but I still didn't understand it, so I just decided to do my own thing. So I got this tray, and I got this background first. Now the first one I decided to do was the butterfly, and yeah. So this glue was really thick, um, and then later I switched to my own to use my own glue because it was really thick and it was really hard to use. So I glued it on. I don't think I was supposed to glue it on. See, as you see here, it's really thick. And yeah, I used the spatula kind of to move it around, but I don't think it worked so well. So I cut the pink open and I wanted to do kind of this ombre and I opened the yellow too for the first two. A lot poured out at first. I wasn't so used to it. It was kind of a new experience. And I just put the yellow to make it more like an ombre. I think it looked nice. And I shaked it so all the excess sand is gone. So this is my own glue, this liquid glue, because their glue, as I said, was really thick and it didn't work. So my glue was really thin also, and it was dripping and some of the like painting things got ruined. Now I'm gonna do the bottom. And the bottom I did is, the bottom I did with a blue and purple ombre instead of a pink and yellow because I wanted it to look a little different. I was kind of getting used to it. It was actually pretty fun to experiment with it. Um, and then I did the middle. And as you see, I'm doing the middle a pink, or sorry, purple. And now I'm gonna color, or not color, but glue in the dots. I made the dots all red. And this is, the butterfly was one of my favorite ones, I think. It turned out really nicely. So the next one, I am going for a random one. So I just started doing some squiggly lines everywhere. This one was also one of my favorites. It looked really good. For this one, I just went random with all the colors. So I added the green and the blue. And I added all the colors, I think. And it looked actually pretty good. That's how it looked like, it looks really nice. Now I'm going for this bear. For the bear, I kinda messed up on it because I tilted it over and I ruined the whole thing, which was pretty sad. And it looks kinda scary at the end. I 
So I went for the bear for this yellow and green and blue. And I didn't like it actually. It was one of my least favorite ones. And I couldn't pick it up as you see. And I shaked it and it looked nice, but I decided to do the eyes and the cheeks and the ears. And this is where I kind of ruined it. It looked really nice and I ruined the nose really badly. And yeah. So they didn't include black in the kit, like black sand. And it kind of is sad because I couldn't do some of the details I wanted to. And it looks kind of creepy. See, I ruined it there. I really hate that one. So I took a next board and I'm gonna do a palm tree now. I think I was doing this whole kit wrong. I didn't really read the instructions because like, I don't really like to read the instructions. So yeah. It looks really satisfying that way. Put the glue on the whole palm tree, I don't know why, but yeah. So I made the palm tree green and yellowish. Just, I don't know, a little chain, so it's not only green. And it looked really nice, I like it. So now I'm gonna do the trunk. So there was no brown for the trunk, so it looks a little weird. Um, yeah, I did a red for the trunk. No, I did a rainbow trunk, actually. And it looks actually pretty cool. I like this one. Not one of my favorites, but still, I like it. So next I did this rainbow one, and it's just a normal rainbow. It's Nothing so special about it. Um, it's nice, I guess. Not one of my favorites again. I kind of ruined it. I didn't put enough glue in some spots and there were some spots that were like without any sand. So it's not one of my favorites. See, as you see, so now I started using this Elmer glue to paint it in because I was starting to run out of the other one. And I needed it for the other, like, cutouts. So I started using the Elmer's glue with a paintbrush. I'm just painting in the little area, areas. So yeah, I don't like this one. This is maybe like my least favorite one. No, this is my second least favorite one. The bear was the worst one. It looks really satisfying with the sand. <laughs> Here I'm playing with the sand. It looks actually really nice. I love the sand. So now I'm doing the frame. Um, so I just used a paintbrush again because I was running out, as I just said, of the other glue. And I just painted the whole thing with the glue, and yeah. For this one again, I just went crazy with it. And yeah. I don't know why, but I really like to dump it and see what it looks like at the end. It just looks really cool. Now I'm playing with this. So now I did this chill out little bubble. Um, so I used the liquid glue here. And yeah.
So I forgot to film how I put up all the sand. So I just did another like ombre kind of thing. I don't like this one either. It's, I don't know why, it's just really bad. So then I did this turtle. I actually don't like this one either. I don't like a lot of them. I only liked the butterfly and the squiggly lines one. The rest were pretty bad actually. I didn't like them. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite and which one's your least favorite. I would really like to know. So I'm pretty sure this is the last one I made. Um, it was actually a really fun, like a little kit. I I would recommend this kit. It's it's messy, but it's pretty easy to clean up. You can use like a vacuum or something just to like clean up all the excess sand. But other than that, it was actually pretty fun. I usually like all of Klutz kits. They're just, I don't know why, they're really fun. But yeah, I definitely recommend this kit for anyone like who likes art or like to do sand. This is the first time I've done anything to do with sand. So yeah. So I cleaned up everything and so the clip was for to clip up all of the sand so they don't spill. I didn't know that. I had to see like in the instructions. But that's pretty smart. These are all the finished products. So this is the squiggly one. This one's my favorite. And the butterfly was also good. I liked it. Like it was a fun project as I said. I definitely recommend this. So I ruined the bear. That one's like for garbage. I hate that one. But the rest are like pretty good I guess and yeah I'm so sorry guys I forgot to show you the frame so this is how the frame looks like hope to see you guys next time